Welcome back everyone. So it is Thursday and that means we are back in Lynn Matavis Kitchen. Lynn is a nutrition educator with the University of Maryland Extension. And if you love mushrooms, then Lynn has the perfect recipe for you. Let's check it out. Mushrooms are a really interesting food. They are not a vegetable, they are not a meat product. Uh, they're a fungus and so they're structurally someplace in between. But they are a very nutritious food and they're full of all sorts of vitamins and minerals and antioxidants. And it's a great way to uh, incorporate some foods into your diet that help us eat a little bit less meat. Uh, so today I've got some cremini mushrooms here. And what I like to do is just slice them with a really sharp knife, as thin as my knife will allow me to slice them. And once I get all of these sliced up, I would put them in a pan with a little bit of uh, whatever oil I'm using. I use a little bit of olive oil and then uh, just a sprinkle of salt, a little dash of pepper. And I chose to use a little bit of fresh sage because it's the time of the year where this just really allows for uh, those nice warm fall flavors that just makes me feel so warm and cozy. I've got some that have already been cooked and they're ready on the stove. And so these now are really, really thin. Um, they have a nice fragrant smell to them. And I could do anything with these. I could put them on top of a salad. I could make a sandwich with them. I could uh, put them on top of pizza, stir them into soups. Uh, really just eat them on a plate. There's so many different things we could do with these. But what I'm actually going to do today is make a sandwich. And so I've just got a piece of sourdough bread. You could use whatever kind you want. The one thing that's really important to remember is that it is important to always cook mushrooms because there are some toxins in there that uh, the heat is going to kill off and allow us to also better digest and absorb all of the nutrients that are in there once these are cooked. So you could use any kind of cheese you wanted or none at all. I've got some fresh Parmesan. What I really like about Parmesan this is a very flavorful cheese. It's very uh, hard and, and aged, so a little bit goes a long way. You do not need a ton of cheese to add a lot of flavor to this. And that's it, just like that. We have a quick and easy breakfast, lunch, dinner. This only took a few minutes to make. From start to finish, it was about 10 minutes to slice the mushrooms and cook them and top them on our sandwich. So I really hope you try this one out, and if you do, let us know what you think. Now, as a reminder, we do have all of Nutrition Educator Limitavis tips and tricks on our website. Just head on over to WMDT.com and click on the Good Morning Tell Marfa page. And share your version using this recipe, and you can use the hashtag UMDYum.